Time for another round of Q&As. So you ask me questions on either YouTube or Instagram at low effort, and then I answer your questions. So let's get started. Did you ever take math 285 differential equations? No, I did not take math 285 differential equations. If you are a math and CS major, I think you do have to take differential equations. My friend said it wasn't that difficult. I was like, thank God I don't have to take any more math classes after linear algebra, so I don't think I like math classes. I plan on applying to UIUC to do my PhD. Any advice for finding apartments for grad students? So I have a friend who is a grad student at UIUC and he lives in like Champaign downtown around that area. And that's like a little bit off campus and apparently grad students like a little bit off campus so that way they don't have to deal with the rowdiness of undergraduate students. Those apartments are pretty nice. If you don't mind being like on campus, if you're an engineer, I'd say look into 508 East Healy Street. That one was the apartment that I had and that was like, in my opinion, the best apartment for an engineer because it was right behind Chipotle. So it was within walking distance of like Green Street. And also there was a bus literally a block away. It was in between like the engineering side and the like main campus. So you were in the perfect spot for everything. Like you could walk to anything. For engineers, you could walk to Granger and Siebel very easily within like 10 minutes. And then if you needed to go like South Quad or Main Quad, you could walk to the Main Quad or you could take the bus that goes straight to South Quad. The biggest thing for apartments is to make sure you have a washer dryer inside your apartment because if you don't have it in your apartment, it makes it pretty difficult to go find a place to like wash and dry your clothes. 508 East Healy Street, the green balcony apartment, apartments, I think. That's like my go-to recommendation if you're an engineer wanting to find an apartment. Is there a refrigerator in the dorms? No, there are not refrigerators in the dorms. In Nugent, there was like a community refrigerator, but you needed to go to the front desk and ask for like the key to the refrigerator. So I don't think it's that useful, but people do use it. Uh, for the most part, I'd suggest just go buying a mini fridge. And if you're dorming with someone else, figure out who's buying the mini fridge. If you can, buy it used and then join the like free and for sale for UIUC Facebook group. A lot of people are like selling things right before they move out. So uh, that's like your best way to get like cheap appliances really quick. Do you suggest applying to CS plus X program or CS as your first choice? This depends on whether or not you actually like the X program. So if you look right now, there's so many like plus X programs out there. Like there's advertising for like media majors, CS plus chemistry for like life science majors. And then there's math and statistics, which is for like those who like yeah, like computational stuff more. My recommendation is that if you have an interest in something other than CS and the X program fulfills that interest, I would recommend going with the CS plus X program because it's like a hybrid where you can kind of get the best of both worlds in terms of both the CS program and the X program. Companies don't really care whether you got the CS program or the CS plus X program. As long as you got CS and you know you could back it up with your like coding challenges, then they don't really care. So. I'd say this is a personal preference, and if you are interested in the X program, go for that. If not, the CS regular is fine too. How hard is it to get an A in these classes? I'm reading so much online about transferring into CS, and everyone makes it seem like it's unachievable, so I'm pretty worried. I'm assuming you're talking about the CS classes that people are saying are very hard and difficult. So the CS225 is like the hardest class out of the first three CS classes that you'll take, 125, 173, 225. And personally, the only reason why that class was so difficult was because I had to learn a new language, C++, in like the span of like a week or two. So like the first lab was really basic. They would just be like, oh, what's an integer? And then the second lab, they're basically like, okay, start doing things with this coding language that you just learned. Start sorting things, start basically putting them into arrays, start like using the code as if you've been using it for years. The difficult part for that is that it's just you have to put in a lot of work into figuring out how to like find information and how to use this language. I solved this problem by basically working in a group so that way you don't feel like unmotivated and you have like a group of people also helping you out and like also struggling with you. CS125 is all Java, so just learn about Java. And then CS225 is about C++, so learn a little bit about C++. The main thing is you have to manage your time so that way you can just get through the classes. If you're transferring, it's a little bit stressful because you can't really take it easy in your first like two years. So 
Um, if you're struggling, you gotta like fix that as soon as possible. That's the only thing. Hopefully that answers that question. I don't wanna scare you by saying it's like pretty difficult, but it is not like the easiest thing. I was pretty stressed when I did it, but I did transfer, so it is doable. It's basically how well can you mentally prep yourself to like face all these like classes, I guess, that are like just a lot of work. So you can do it. I believe in you. When did this channel turn into a UIUC channel? I don't know. My videos that were UIUC were the ones that people responded to, so I'm just making more UIUC content. Last question. If you had some time, I would love it if you could answer some additional questions that I had about CS and transferring and UIUC in general. A lot of people have been asking me this question where they've asked to like have one-on-ones with me. So below is a link where you can schedule some time to have a chat with me and we can talk about UIUC and whatever questions you have and I can go more in depth than I can in the videos. So how it'll work is that in the link below, I have a schedule of the times that I'm available. You fill out this like pre-meeting questionnaire, basically write down what questions that you want answered so that way we don't really waste any time during the one-on-one. -on -one. So I could just like answer all your questions really quickly and efficiently. After that, you'll get an email from me about a Zoom video conference link and then I could answer all your questions there. So that's what I've done for one-on-ones. Click on the link below and you can just schedule a one-on-one -on -one if you want any more like in-depth questions. So I think that'll be the end of today's Q&A. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. And also my camera's dying again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This guitar is here because uh, it's too white of a wall, so I want to put something else here, so, guitar. <laughs>